this Saturday night at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, undefeated 30-year-old Polish boxer Adam Kaunaki faces Riverside, California's 38-year-old Chris the Nightmare Ariola. This is one of those fights where people, I believe, are going to maybe bet with their heart instead of their brain. Because I believe a lot of people sympathize with Chris Ariola's story. And they're always rooting for him because he's kind of always been the underdog. He shouldn't have made it this far in boxing. But he has. He has 38 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, 33 KOs. His 5 losses have come to Deontay Wilder, 2 to Bermain Severn, 1 to Thomas Adamek, and 1 to Klitschko. In my opinion, he should have never lost to Adamek. I was there for that fight. I was there for that camp. And Ariola, he did not give 100% to his camp. And that's what happens. Something odd about this heavyweight bout is that they both stand at 6 foot 3 and they're both measured to have a 76 inch reach. Also, both of them, both of their KO percentages are in the 70%. Kaunaki has a 79% KO ratio, Ariola a 72% KO ratio. In my opinion, this is not going to be a technical fight at all. This is the biggest test in the 30 year old Pollock's career. He's never faced a bigger name than Chris Ariola. Perhaps in Poland, the fight between him and Artur Spikta was considered to be big, but not to the level of Ariola. Both these guys on the conference call predicted that this fight's not going to last 7 rounds. It's not going to go 7 rounds. And I have to agree, they're going to be like two big locomotives going head to head against each other as fast as they can. They're going to crash against one another. And there's going to be chaos in the ring, even though Ariel is being trained right now by Joe Goosen. I think once he gets hit, all that boxing goes out the window. And he's just going to slug it out with Adam Kaunaki. But I believe, even though Ariola is very tough, he's been stopped already three times in his career. Once by Klitschko, once by Severn, once by Wilder. And Severn had a similar stoppage ratio that Adam Kanaki has now facing Chris Ariola. I don't think Ariola's gonna quit. I think he's the type of guy that would go out on his shield. But I believe the referees, especially now with the deaths in boxing, they're not gonna let Ariola take a lot of punishment. And I'm calling a fourth round referee stoppage victory for Adam Kaunaki this Saturday night.